of a mixed martial artist, as Gus said, they threw him a curveball tonight, but he is willing to take on all comers, and again, Kimbo Slice looking to continue his phenomenon here tonight. Well, he has the opportunity, but can he come to the top with this? His patience is going. He's learning the game. He's really fast now. He's finally learning how to breathe when he punches, and his combinations, he says, will come in six and eight instead of just ones and twos. That, to me, sounds like a very, very dangerous heavyweight. Very dangerous fight for Gimbo Slice. He did not take the fight until about 8.20 this evening. The card started at 9 p.m. It took some time for his camp to make the decision because of the risk factor. The risk factor being they don't know anything about the man that he's standing across from, Seth Petroselli. The great unknown, Seth Petroselli, again. Supposed to fight in light heavyweight, but then Ken Shamrock weighed in at 206 and a half pounds yesterday as well, so... This fight's going to be about speed and technique. All right, a look at the tail of the tape. Kimbo Slice, Seth Petrucelli. Slice, a brawler, 234 and a half. Petrucelli, 205 and a half. And the tail of the tape is brought to you by Affliction. But I would venture that he's a little heavier, Petroselli, walking into the cage this evening. Let's go inside the cage and Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Bank Atlantic Center, we welcome you as CBS and Elite XE present the Saturday Night Fights main event of the evening. Three five-minute rounds in a heavyweight special attraction. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and MMA fans joining us around the world, live from Sunrise, Florida, it's showtime! Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the blue corner with an impressive training background in karate. His MMA record stands at 10 wins and 4 losses, including 7 of his wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the former United States full contact karate champion, the ultimate fighter and UFC veteran, introducing Seth, the silver back Petruzzelli. And his opponent across the cage in the red corner, a longtime street fighting icon, is described as a brawler with a professional MMA record of three wins and no losses. Please welcome the undefeated, heavy-handed phenom, the popular legend and street fighting star of the internet. Here is the one and only Kimbo Slice. Referee in charge of this bound now to give instructions, Troy Wong. Gentlemen, both fighters center the ring. Gentlemen, this is the main event and it's showtime. Welcome to CBS Elite XC style. Let's give the millions of fans that's watching this fight the fight that they want to see. Go back to your corners, let's get ready to rock and roll. Kimbo Slice. His fourth appearance inside the cage against Seth Petroselli, who showed up at the arena tonight and found out that he would be part of the main event. Three five-minute rounds. And it's about to get serious. Slice quickly across.
you have a dream, if you're willing to step into a cage and fight for your life, you can be anything you want. Kimbo Slice, battered, bruised, bloody, Seth Petroselli, a young man from Fort Myers, Florida. His nickname is the Silverback. He came here tonight, found out that he would be the main event, and he has shot the entire world of mixed martial arts. We caught a glimpse of Hulk Hogan before this fight started. I'm wondering if Kimbo was thinking, now, man, maybe, uh, maybe they should have offered me. Wrong business, man. maybe. I, I just love the look in Seth's eyes when he came out. He was smiling, he was waving, he knew that this was his opportunity. Let's take a look. Seth Petroselli. The front kick worked. Short front kick, keeping him off, keeping him off, and then it was a quick right hand left. And those a jab. It caught him. And Kimbo just didn't recover. Those pounding right hands. Worked. Short front kick, keeping him off, keeping him off, and then it was a quick right hand left. And those a jab. They caught him, and Kimbo just didn't recover. Those pounding right hands would not let him come back. Kimbo rolls to his back to try to protect, but they're just endless right hands. Petrozelli saw his goal coming, and he punched his way to victory. Another look. Kimbo walking in. Look at that nice karate push kick. Keeps him out. That short jab hit him in the right on the eyebrow. Look at this whooping right hand. Power punches. These are all power punches. Every single one of them. Kimbo has no slice, no answer. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Let's look at it one more time. This is absolutely.